Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be working more on our enemies library. So a couple of things I need to change before we continue working is that this needs to be a public sub so that we can access it outside of the class and we need to make attacks of type string even though it will automatically detect that I just want to put that in there um, just so you know what it is and what it will hold. So we may be adding to this enemy class later on uh, but for now let's just leave it the same way it is. So we'll come over here to enemies library and let's go ahead and add a class. We'll shrink this down a little bit and you can see here that I have uh, a dragon, a villain, and a zombie. So let's go ahead and for class1.vb and if you didn't see that um, sorry I just did I clicked show desktop and um, it may have taken away the video but I've got three pictures a zombie a villain and a dragon so let's make a zombie class go ahead and click add and we will zoom in okay so we want zombie to inherit from enemy Okay, so it's going to get the health, the attacks, um, the default attack, and the health property, and it's going to get the constructor. So we'll come back over here to zombie, and let's go ahead and add uh, zombie attacks. So we'll make an array of this, so private zombie attacks as string we'll set it equal to eat brains uh, what else let's think of something left for dead um, we could do claw I guess if zombies have claws um, what else let's think of one more thing we'll just do throw up like a boomer so our zombies can eat brains, claw, and throw up. So let's go ahead and let's just do zombie attacks. So public, sub, and we have default attack. We'll do zombie attack. And then we want to buy ref, user health, as integer. So whenever the zombie attacks, let's go ahead and generate a random number. So we can come back in here um, and let's just go ahead and copy these even though copying and pasting is not a good idea in coding. So ah. so we'll copy this and then paste it right here. So let's go ahead and do it um, between from index 0 to let's say index 2. So it's going to be 0, 1, or 2. So now we'll do a select case. So select case, attack num, we'll do case 0. Uh, let's do user health minus equals let's do 15 so if they get their brains eaten they're gonna lose 15 uh, percent of their health uh, case one user health minus equals uh, let's do five <coughs> and then case two user health minus equals let's just do two for that Okay, so now that we have the zombie attacks, let's go ahead and you can see that we created these arrays of attacks. Now, we haven't used them so far. We've just used the indexes of them. Well, later on, we're going to send the, we're going to be sending these attacks back to the caller so they can add them uh to the program, to the game program, and they can tell you what just happened, how you were attacked, uh and stuff like that. 
So we've created zombie attack. So now let's go ahead and create another class. So we will add a class. Let's make a villain. So go ahead and click add. And we want to we want it to inherit enemy. And we'll just zoom in here. So just like in our zombie attacks, let's go ahead and create villain attacks. So private villain attacks as string. And let's go ahead and think of something a villain could do. Uh, let's say shoot. Um, let's see what else. Okay. So our villain can shoot, stab, or let's just use explode for um, throwing a grenade. So we'll just type that instead. So throw grenade. Okay, so now what we want to do is create a villain attack function or a sub. So let's go ahead and make it public. Sub villain attack. And we want to reference the user health again. So user health as integer. And I'm going to go through this pretty quick because we've already done this several times. So we'll create our um, our random generator and our attack number. So then we'll just do a select case. So select case attack num case 0 so if index is 0 or if attack num is equal to 0 which would be shoot we'll do user health minus equals and let's say if they get shot we'll do 10 case 1 um, user health minus equals 8 case 2 user health minus equals 12 so whenever they're attacked um, they're going to lose some health. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Now, I'll just go ahead and create one more class here. Um, I'll just go through it really fast because you guys already know what to do. So we'll make it a dragon. We'll have it inherits enemy. I'm going to go ahead and pause right here and come back once I'm done writing this class. Okay, so I made this uh, dragon class. We've got the dragon attacks array, blow fire claw, and tail smash. And then we reference the user health and then create a random number and it will take away their health based on what the random number is. Now we just need to end sub. Okay, so look at this code. Go ahead and put it in if you haven't, and um, we're going to move on to the next tutorial where, we'll be, where we will be using our uh, class library in a program.